What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm down at Carolina Auto Direct and we're going to take a look at their 2021 Ram 2500 Limited Longhorn Mega Cab. Huge shout out to them for providing this truck for me today. Make sure you check out their website. That link is down in the description. The model that you see behind me is finished off in Delmonico Red Pearl and it's listed just under $83,000. We're going to start off today's review though with what powers this Mega Cab. Underneath the hood, you'll find the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel inline six paired with the six speed automatic transmission. It pumps out 370 horsepower and 850 pound feet of torque. However, if you opt for the high output, that bumps it up to 420 horsepower and just over 1000 pound feet of torque. This is rear wheel drive with the four wheel drive system, weighs in right around 7,300 pounds, and it also has a fuel capacity of 31 gallons. This has a wheelbase of 160 and a half inches. Its overall length is 249.9. It has a width of 83 and a half, a height of 80.1 inches, and its ground clearance measures in at 9.4 inches. Now it's time to take a look at the exterior on this Ram, and I'm gonna start off with these headlight housings. You can see just how massive they are, but they're also very proportional for the size of this truck, and they blend in nicely with the chrome surrounding the grille, which I'll come back to here soon. But within the housing, you can see the LED headlights, along with the LED DRL strip in the lower section, and the turn signals at the very bottom. And then on the top and the bottom, as I just mentioned, we have that chrome trim piece surrounding the entire grille as well. You can see the horizontal slats are finished off in chrome, and there's plenty of cutouts to provide maximum cooling to this engine. You'll also notice too that the RAM badge is finished off in chrome, and there's an integrated forward-facing camera, so this will help with better forward-facing visibility. You'll see all the parking sensors in the lower section of the bumper, along with the chrome tow hooks. There's LED fog lights on both sides too, and a lower air dam just to help improve with better aerodynamics. And then last up, making our way to the hood, you'll see the 2500 heavy duty badge on both sides, and there's some really nice contoured lines running down it to give it that aggressive look. As we work our way to the side profile now for this Mega Cab, you can see a majority of that added length for the Mega Cab is around the back seat area here, which I'll show later on in this video. But aside from that, this has some really nice side proportional designs. You can see the line that runs from the headlight. It goes just up underneath these side mirrors and kind of disappears near the front door handle. But there's also some really nice lines in the lower side skirt and the lower section of the door just to give it a great look. This also has some fender arches too to add to that aggressive design. And this model has a really nice set of 20 inch wheels. They have a two-tone design to them and they're wrapped in a mud terrain tire. So that is an aftermarket tire, just gives it a little bit more of a beefy look. You'll also notice too, we have a lot of chrome on the exterior. You can see it on the side mirrors too, which you can fold up. So that allows you to see a little bit better when you're towing and you can also see these side cameras. So I'll show that system later on in this video. Up on the roof, this also has the shark fin antenna along with some extra lights. And then being such a large truck, you need an easy way to enter and exit. So you can see the deployable side steps that will go down when you open the door. And of course they will fold up once you close the door. And you'll also notice in the lower section of the bed, this has the side exit exhaust. And last up for this Ram, this has LED taillights. You'll also notice Ram is spelled out in the taillight itself. Just a really nice attention to detail to see. This also has an integrated backup camera. It's in the chrome trim piece just above the release handle for the tailgate. You'll also notice the large chrome Ram badge right in the center, along with the limited Longhorn Edition badge over on the left side. This has a body colored rear bumper. You'll see all the parking sensors are in the lower section of it. On the driver's side of the bed, this also has a deployable step, so that makes it easier to enter and exit if you need to. And then this truck also has a maximum towing capacity up to 19,000 pounds. Before we take a look at the interior, if I lock this truck and double tap this button on the lower right, this truck has remote start, which is a really nice feature. You can have this turbo diesel up and running in the morning, which is really nice to see. And if you double tap on this button, you can shut the truck off if you'd like to. But now with the truck locked and the key in my pocket, I'm just going to grab the door handle where you can hear it unlock. Of course, that deployable sidestep will automatically go down. And now we can take a look at this beautiful door panel. You can see the mountain brown leather that's on the backside, really nice wood trim piece, and some brushed gold trim. It has a really nice design to it and flows nicely with the color of this interior. You can see that on the release handle too. All of the memory seating adjustments are just in front of that. And we have all the window controls and the side mirror adjustments in front of that. You'll also notice a little bit of storage space underneath the grab handle, and then there's a lot more storage space in the lower section of the door. And this model also has the 19 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. And as we work our way to the interior now, you can see Ram down on the door sill, along with the limited Longhorn Edition badge on the floor mats, where you can see they're a combination of all weather and carpet, which is really nice to see. And then moving on to these mountain brown leather seats, you can see they have a two-tone design to them. We have another Longhorn Edition badge right in the center. They are heated and ventilated 
heated seats, really nice intricate pattern running down the bolsters, which is a great touch to see. You'll also notice that down on the side, and then down on the side of the seat are all of the automatic controls. And now once inside with my foot on the brake, it's time to start it up. And you'll see on the left side of the gauge cluster is the tack and the engine temperature. On the right side is the miles per hour and the fuel gauge. And then right in the middle, there's a lot of information to go through within that digital screen by using these buttons over on the left side of the steering wheel. So right now you can see miles per hour. If I scroll down, that goes into some vehicle information. So you can look at a lot of vital information within the screen. The TPMS is also within this setting too. And you can see all this other information to go through. Makes it very easy and quick to get to. I can scroll down one more time to off-road. So you can see the degree of the steering wheel. If I turn it, you can see that change. There's also the pitch and roll that you can monitor. If I scroll down again, there's the fuel economy. Then there's also trip information you can look at along with the trailer tow. So you can monitor all of that when you have a trailer hooked up and you're towing, of course. You can look at your audio, any messages. And then the last setting is screen setup. So right now you can see in the upper left is the compass and the upper right is the outside temperature. You can go into the system here and configure what you'd like to see in each of those settings. And then on the lower left and the lower right are some other vitals to monitor. And then as we work our way to this leather steering wheel, you'll see a really nice wood trim on the upper section along with down below. Over on the right side is all the cruise control settings along with your gear selection. You have all those controls on the left side along with Bluetooth and voice commands. And then on the back side of the steering wheel are audio adjustments. So you have volume and tuning, really nice hands-free controls. You'll also notice more of that gold trim surrounding the steering wheel. It's a very nice touch to see. As we work our way to the left side of the steering wheel, you can see all the headlight controls along with dimmer switches for the gauges. There's one air vent. You'll see some more of that wood trim. The entire dash is covered in leather. You'll see the Harman Kardon logo up in the upper section along with RAM. There is a 12 volt on the right side of this little storage bin. And then right in the middle, we have this large 12 inch screen. There's a lot of information to go through the system and it's very easy to use too. So right now you can see it's currently on the climate controls where you can adjust fan speed, where you'd like the air to go, just by pushing on these diagrams here. And you can quickly adjust the temperature on the screen or by using the physical buttons over on the left and the right side. If I click on that home button now, you can see you can actually split the screen to what you'd like to see. So if you want to see the media up top and then you have all of your climate controls down below, you can quickly do that. And you'll also notice too on the bottom are basically all of the presets. So right now you can see the controls for the heated and ventilated seats along with the heated steering wheel. You can deploy the side steps and look at all of the different cameras, which I'll get to here soon. There's also the apps that you can click on so you can go through all this information and whatever you use the most, you can put down on this lower bar. So let's say you wanna go into your off-road pages. I can drag and drop this and place it down there. Very quick shortcut to be able to get to that. You can pull up the navigation and you can see I have that on the bottom there along with whatever you'd like to see up top. You can also see the traction control button as a physical button. We have fan speed and mode, so where you like the air to go just by pushing on these buttons, along with a few more over on the passenger side. You can see power and volume for the radio right in the middle, along with tuning on that other side. And then if I push on the screen off button, you can shut that off if you'd like to. And then just below that, you can see these toggle switches here where we have the trailer height adjustment. So this vehicle will raise and lower depending on the load for the trailer. We have the air brake along with the tow and haul mode. And you can turn on and off the front and rear sensors if you'd like to. There's also a trailer braking system. Over on the left side of that, you can see all the four wheel adjustments. There's also the engine start stop button. And then last up, we'll move on to the rear facing camera. So by using the column mounted shifter finished off in leather, if I put the truck into reverse, now you can see that backup camera and we have a lot of different angles to go through. So you can see these different angles for the rear facing camera along with the front facing camera. There's also a cargo camera too. So you can see what's in the bed if you'd like to. And then there's also a little bit different of an angle where you can actually see the Ram logo and the tailgate. And then we have these side mirrors. So when you are going around a turn, if you need to use this for extra visibility, you can go left and right. So you can clearly see whatever you're trailering behind you, which just makes it very nice and versatile for the size of this truck. So that is awesome to see. As we work our way below that now, you'll see a little bit of a storage bin on the left side, along with two USB and USB-C ports. And then there is a ton of room in the center area here. You can see a small shelf here with a wireless charging logo. Plenty of room right in the middle here. And there are two center consoles. So we have this one that you can move forwards and backwards. If I slide this all the way forwards and open up the first section, you can see there are two cup holders. And in the back, we have some coin slots and a little bit of extra storage. And then working our way to the armrest now, you can see the Longhorn Edition badge. 
If I open this up, you can see all of that storage that is down below and you can see the maximum fill line too. So that will show you how many items you can put in the back if you'd like to slide this forwards and backwards. So there's room in front of this. You can have room behind this. There's also a shelf that you can flip up too. So if you don't want any items to slide underneath this when you have this forward, this gives you another area just behind that. So that's great to see. You'll also notice this conversion chart on the lower section of it. So if you are using this as a work truck and you need some measurements converted, really nice to have that right there. And then as we work our way to the glove boxes, there are two of them. You can see the upper one here, really nice wood trim along with that Longhorn Edition badge. If I push on this dial, you can see that open up. And then we have the normal glove box down below, plenty of room for any items you have to place there. We'll take one last look at these seats which have a really nice design to them. And then last up up top, you can see some assistance buttons. You can also open the tailgate if you'd like to. Dome lights are on both sides of that. We have the adjustment for the rear glass and then a sunglass holder right in the front. Now that I'm in the back seats of this mega cab, all that extra space for the mega cab is pretty much behind the back seats here, which allows you to recline these seats. And at five foot 10, I have no complaints with all the room that's back here. I have plenty of room for my head around three or four inches, even when the seat is all the way up. There's plenty of room for my legs and my feet with the front seat set at my height. You could have three full-size adults in this back seat here and have plenty of room. You'll also notice right in the middle, there are two cup holders along with the air vents. These are heated rear seats. So we have those controls along with the USB and USB-C ports and even a three prong in the lower section there. You'll also notice too, we have some leather straps for these compartments behind both front seats. Adds to that Longhorn Edition theme. All the materials on the door panel are just like we saw up front. So that's great to see. There's also a center armrest along with two more cup holders if you need to use that. And these back seats also fold down. So they have a 60-40 split to them. And there's a few different ways that you can do this. If I pull the latch right next to the headrest, that just folds down the backrest. So it gives you a flat area along with this extra storage in the mega cab portion of this truck where you can put some smaller items. They won't roll around when you have the seats at this height or you can pull on this release on the bottom of the seat and it will fold the entire seat down completely flat with that back section. So that gives you a really nice flat surface if you need that extra interior storage. And you'll also notice too in the back side, we have these small compartments if you'd like to put any items there. So it makes it very versatile for this back seating area. And last up for this truck, we'll take a look at the bed. So I can double tap that button on the key fob. You'll see the tailgate fold down. This has a spray and bed liner. So it's going to give this bed that added extra protection. You can see all the tie down hooks and all of the corners along with some actual cleats so you can safely secure any items you have in the back. Over on the driver's side is that three prong outlet so you can utilize that if you need to. If you're on location and you're using this as a work truck, really nice feature to see. And then this tailgate is very lightweight so with one hand I can easily close it up. All right, so getting the 2021 Ram 2500 Mega Cab out on the road now, this is a very luxurious truck. The moment that I hopped in, I was blown away with this interior color combo. It looks really nice, especially against this exterior red, but we have the wood trim as you already saw, these gold trim accents. It's even on the release handle too, so it's a very nice interior. It's very luxurious. If you're using this as a work truck and you're driving this every single day, it's a nice place to be. We have pretty much all the options and features that you would want. So it's very comfortable to be able to drive this every single day. And it offers a lot, which is great as you've already seen in today's video. But just talking about what it's like to drive this truck now, I own a Toyota Tacoma and this is way bigger than my truck. But after putting a few miles on this, it's really not all that hard to place on the road. I feel very high up. I can see the entire hood. I can look over street signs, even the stop signs here. So you have a high presence going down the road but it's an easy truck to place. We have these side mirrors too that you can fold up if you're towing and then fold back down when you're not towing, just depending on what, if, what you have behind this and the visibility that you need. But I can easily use these mirrors to place the back of this truck. And we have the camera system too if you need to use that. With a large truck like this, it makes it a lot easier to see what's in front of you, see what's behind you. You can move, maneuver this truck by yourself just by using that camera system. So it's very easy to use. Visibility without the camera system is just as great because pickup trucks are pretty easy to see all around. The glass is right here. Even with the mega cab, you can see over your left and right shoulder. So no problems with visibility or driving this down the road. And it's actually been a very comfortable ride for a pickup truck. This is very luxurious. It provides you with a nice comfortable ride too. Even with the mud terrains that are on this, a little bit more aggressive than stock. You can hear them slightly, but of course that can change depending on the tire you put on the truck. But other, aside from that, very well insulated on the interior, no wind noise or anything like that. 
So this is definitely an awesome truck. We have so much space on the interior here for anything you want, whether it's people or storage. And this even has a uh, payload capacity around 3,000 pounds. So you can put in a lot of items in the back if you need to, and then tow whatever it is that you have. And then just quickly talking about the power that this truck has, giving it a little bit of gas. We are up to the speed limit. So for a truck weighing over 7,000 pounds, you have plenty of torque to get this up and moving. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for my walk around review and test drive, getting this 2021 Ram 2500 Limited Longhorn Edition Mega Cab out on the road. Once again, massive shout out to Carolina Auto Direct for providing this truck. Definitely check out their website. They have a lot of awesome pre-owned inventory, so definitely check them out. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button if you'd like to stay up to date on our daily uploads, and I'll see you in the next video.